Hello everybody, I'm Hawaiian Hillbilly. Welcome to another live stream. You guys know the routine. I got to set up my laptop here so I can monitor chat. And that'll take just a minute. Sometimes it actually loads quicker than other times. Sometimes when I go to the page where my... Uh, the live stream is actually broadcast where chat is at. Uh, it will take a minute to actually load up. And it, it will say upcoming. And I'm thinking, no, it's not upcoming. It's now. <laughs> but it just, it takes YouTube a few seconds to like catch up. I, I noticed that the video itself, what you see is about six seconds, five or six seconds lagged from what happens on my system, or on my TV with my PlayStation. So my gameplay is about five or six seconds ahead of what you actually see if you're watching live stream. It takes about that long for it to render. So I'm just typing out a message here, guys, for the chat. I'll have that done here in a second. Hard for me to talk and type at the same time. But that's okay. I got it done. I got it posted. And now, it will just sit like that. It just allows me to uh, monitor the chat should somebody show up in chat. And I have had a couple people show up in chat before. Uh, I don't know how to uh, make chat more active. I know I'm doing live streams because I want to be able to do chat. Anyway, let's open this up. Let's go in here. We're going to go back. We're going to play on Elm Creek. I am going to be going back to Calmlands. You have not seen No Man's Land in my live streams. I've not played on that map. And I may start over. We can have, an because I have an empty slot. Oh, I've got a bunch of empty slots. Okay. I, I was thinking I only had four slots, but I don't know if they've added more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven so we have 10 slots all together. So I can have 10 different maps going at the same time. That's pretty cool. But for now, we're going to play right here. We're going to play on uh, Elm Creek. And then, uh, like I said, very soon I will be going back to Calm Lands. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments which, which map you're enjoying better. If you've seen some of the other ones. Which ones you... Which farm you like better uh i like both of them for different reasons but we're going to play on elm creek and this is all activated i checked it last time to make sure everything was still activated and it all was so let's jump in here and then uh now i, I will tell you i have not played on uh Calmlands for a little while now. This is episode number eight on Elm Creek. Uh, I, I started the Elm Creek map so we can do uh, production chains. And we have purchased the oil mill. And we are working towards being able to buy the grain mill and the bakery. I want to buy both of those at the same time because they work together. Okay, I kind of forgot what I was doing there. Now, let me see here. We've got to, uh... Now, we just planted all this stuff. 
So now we've got to sleep until this field is ready. And thankfully I still have this truck over here where I can fast travel. Well, it looks like I got my other truck, got a tractor, there's so plenty of vehicles around here. <coughs> but that truck, <coughs> okay, so we're just gonna sleep, it's October. We're going to sleep until almost just say nine o'clock. If you sleep until eight o'clock in some of the winter months, it'll still be dark. So I like to just go ahead and sleep until nine o'clock in the winter months. Okay, so let me see what we got here. Now, okay, so I'm gonna have to go again. We gotta sleep again. And we will sleep until nine o'clock and maybe we will have a crop ready to harvest. All right, now, okay, we have a field ready to harvest. That is what we were looking for. So, let's, uh, I think that's okay. Let's hire a helper. And let's send off the harvester. I hope I only have one pallet of honey sitting back there. I might check that here in a while. Now we'll get this guy started going back the other way now, the other direction. Uh, you know I like running lengthwise on the field. I'm just getting a little just a little space between our worker and this fence down here. I'm gonna do the same thing when we get back down to the other side. I will take control and just have them go the other direction for a couple of passes. That way it's uh, it'll be away from the fence because there's a fence at the other end also. Sometimes I think it's kind of funny, guys. I'm talking like to myself or I'm talking as though I'm simply recording a video. Uh, it's really, you know, it's a live chat, but there is, it's a live stream, not live chat, but a live stream, but there is no chat. There's nobody in there. There's nobody watching. Uh, actually on my laptop here, it shows one person watching, but that's me, that's my laptop. <laughs> We'll let this guy run down here, turn around and come back, and then we'll take control again, send him back the other way. So it's weird, guys. It, it, sometimes it's kind of funny because it's like I'm just talking to myself. So I talk as though I'm making, just making a regular video, because I know for the most part, if anybody watches my, watches this, it's gonna be after it was posted as a video. But my whole goal is live streaming. 
to be able to do live chats and stuff like that. Now we're going to take control again. We just wanted to get ourselves a little bit of distance away from that fence. Now we'll just fire that guy. Don't worry. I'll use you again. You did a good job. It's nothing personal. I wish I could just jump in there and... Boy, I barely did get that one lined up right. But at least it's working. I run out of stuff to talk about. It's like every episode I gotta talk about the same stuff. Although I don't really talk about the same stuff. I just talk about what's going on. That's all. Now we're just gonna let this guy go. I wish this thing would turn around, the harvester would turn around the other direction. But it's kind of weird how it pulls out that field like that into the crop. Now, we'll take uh, these soybeans. We have soybeans in our uh, our silo. I'm, I'm pretty sure we do. Let's look. Yeah, we got 17,000 liters. Wait a minute. Go back to that. Uh, feeding grain, 66. Gold Crest 64. So right now, the best place is to feed and grain south. So I'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure when we get done, whether I want to take it to the farmer's market or the feed grain south. Now we're just about getting to a place, guys, I can tell you to where we're going to have more to do. I really got to try to work on how I'm going to spread out the, the work. You know, I got to figure this out. Uh, basically, we're just going to have to do a lot of sleeping. Because you can do a lot of gameplay in five or six hours. I mean, I could, I could probably live stream for maybe about seven or eight maybe about eight hours or so and actually flip every field that we have we have 11 fields right now which i'm really happy about by the way I'm just a little bit undecided like on how I'm going to rotate crops and stuff like that. Uh, I kind of have to pay attention to how much grain is being used by our productions. Because look here. Let's look here. Let's go down here to production chains. Now we're looking at canola. I have 131,000 liters of canola. I don't remember how much I started out with. But we just slept through a couple of months. And I've only used, well, 
you can see just a little bit there that I've used. So we probably started out with like a hundred and what a hundred and fifty thousand liters, hundred and forty thousand liters maybe. I don't really know. I can't remember. I did look and I for I forget how much it was. But uh, we've got sunflowers. We've got four fields of sunflowers or three fields of sunflowers right now. We will have a fourth one. The field we're harvesting now. But anyway, like I was saying, see, I got to keep an eye on how much crop I have. And that'll help me determine like uh, rotation like I was talking about. Oh, this guy's full. Good thing I came back here when I did. Where's my truck? It's still down. It's over here. I don't need this truck. I could take the trailer. But this truck. <laughs> because of its capacity. It doesn't matter. I'll just use it. I could have used the tractor with the little with that black trailer. But and I like that trailer by the way. I had never used that one before, but I do like it. But uh this truck because it has the unreal capacity on this dump bed there's no reason not to use the truck that way I have the tractor for something else because I'm using it for something else Whoa, get out of the way. I had to do something right quick there, guys, but I just about messed up. I'm trying to see how many, okay, only two. I'm two clicks away between my truck and my harvester. But yeah, see, we use soybeans as a, it's our cash crop. It's what makes us our money besides production. Let's see how much, uh, let's look here, production, uh, canola oil. Let's go see how much we're selling canola oil for. Because it's automatic, but we're getting five thousand nine hundred and well, maybe five, yeah, probably five thousand nine hundred and fifty-nine. Because I think if when we set it up for a uh, like we set up a plant or a greenhouse or something like that to to sell, and that's how we have our uh, canola oil. Canola oil is set up for selling, right there, selling. So, we're automatically, I think we automatically sell for the highest price. So that would be, five, it would be this one here, five fifty nine. That's for a thousand liters. So we're making good money off that. And the what the the nice thing about this right here is we still have we've got all that canola and we sold that canola as grain to the oil mill and 
I'm sure the price has fluctuated just a little bit since we did that. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what we got for it. But you can see it still pays pretty good. There's 3,000, 4,000, 3,900, 38, 38. So we probably, we wouldn't get that one. We'd get this. Uh, yeah, the 3,900. And that red just tells you that the price is coming down or the price is going up if it's green with an up arrow. So, but for right now, even canola by itself. But here's a question. We need two liters of sunflowers to get one liter of canola oil. But we're not... We're not quite doubling our price. But the beauty of what I was going to say was I was able to sell my canola to the, the oil mill. I sold the canola to the oil mill. And when I bought the oil mill, I got all my canola back. And now I can turn it into oil and sell it for the oil. So at least for the first 140,000 liters or however much it was when it was full, 140,000 liters, I'm actually going to make about $8,000 per thousand liters. Now the rest of that we won't, in, for anything else we add to it, we will not make that kind of money because we don't get paid for the canola oil. I mean, for the canola, as we put it in the oil mill, we just get paid for the oil when it comes out. So that's one thing. You always want to make sure that you, if you buy a production line, you, uh, you put grain in it first. And that's what we're working on. We have... Uh, this guy's still running. We'll keep an eye on that guy. We can look at some things, so that, that's kind of nice. I haven't really done this a lot. But we can look at some stuff while we're while our helper is running. We'll just keep an eye on him. Now, see we bought these fields right here. I put sunflowers in these fields. And then of course this field is normally sunflowers also. Our oil mill is right here. So, we have, we're going to get quite a bit of sunflowers. So we want to, it doesn't matter with the sunflowers though, because I already owned the oil mill. If I would owned all these fields and, and I could have harvested one rotation, I, I could have done the whole rotation. So here's the th something I'm thinking about doing. I want to do, uh, I think I have wheat. Right, right now I have wheat here and I have wheat here. Then what I want to do, I want to be able to buy this field. How, let's look and see how much this field costs. $79,000. I could buy it. But I'm not going to buy it yet. But we could buy that one. And then that way we can do all of these fields. We could do all of these in wheat. I really want this field right here too. I want this field and this field. This is $364,000. So we need quite a bit of money, but then I could do this field, this field, this field, this field, and this field. I could do all five of these fields, just these right here. I could actually do these. I could buy these and do all five of these and all five of these like do one rotation in wheat do all wheat I also have this field here too anyway to figure out the rotations like I could do all wheat and then I could do like all oats and then I could do all barley and then I could do all sorghum. 
before I do a complete rotation of just that one crop. And before and before I bought the grain mill, put all that grain, all of that grain. in the grain mill then buy the grain mill and get all of that grain back to turn it into flour that might be something i want to consider doing before i buy the grain mill because i'm just buying this stuff for the purpose of the production chain But I can't look at information about the grain mill until I own the grain mill. So I can't look. There's no way for me to actually look at, because uh, it's only going to show me, there's some contracts. I don't need to do contracts. I don't want to do contracts on this map. I have done a few in the past uh, not on this series but see here's the bad thing about like uh, productions you can't see what's going on now look my honey's full 5,000 I don't understand why it's full like that but it's probably putting another pallet full of honey over by the the beehives and i really don't want it to be doing that but what i'm talking about here uh i don't know how to look for uh where i can find out about like uh what exact crops can i use to make flour. Oh, mate, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I think I might have just figured something out, guys. Flour. No, that's just going to show price fluctuation. See, it doesn't tell me what types of flour I can make. But I'm pretty sure I can make, I can make flour out of wheat, barley, oats and sorghum I believe I can do that well yeah I think what I was talking about let's go back up to the map for a minute and we'll we'll mark our farm if I do all these all the even if I just Say, say these three, four, five, six fields. If I do all of those like in wheat, I could actually probably do this in wheat. I do have lots of canola, but I want to keep canola going. Uh, but at some point, See, I'll be able to, I'm thinking I want to, uh, maybe I'll just plant this, yeah, I, maybe I'll do that. I gotta pay attention to when things are ready to harvest. Uh, I want to look at something else while I'm here too, guys. I don't want to move the truck, but I do want to just, I want to go over here. I don't remember when I planted these fields. If I planted these fields on the same day as I planted these other fields. Let's just go through here like this. <laughs> I don't remember what month I planted everything in. So I don't know if they're going to be done at the same time, if they are, 
See, because I have wheat. Okay, I have wheat growing. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, guys. I just honestly don't know. But I might take a break from the soybeans, and I might do, like, the three fields right here. I might do these three fields in uh, wheat on the next one. I just want to get a bunch of each of the arable crops. Well, not necessarily all the arable crops. Four of them anyway. So I'm thinking that maybe that'll be the way to go. It'll take a while, so it might be a while before we actually buy the grain mill and the bakery. Because I really would like to be able to sell all the grain and then buy the building that houses the grain and get to keep the grain that's in it. <laughs> I, that's just, that works out so awesome. So I'm really thinking I'd like to be able to completely fill the grain mill with all the different types of grain that I can put in it before I buy it. That would be awesome because it would just make so much money. You get spread out enough on here that it's uh, it's easy to kind to kind of. I want to jump out right here for a second. I want to see what's happening over here. Okay, still just have the one. Last time. The last time this, uh, where's our honey? Oh, not that, this. The last time this went to 5,000, when it looked like that, it showed the honey full at 5,000, and uh, down here where it says selling, it was all red, 5,000, like that. That's how we ended up with that pallet. So, that's a little bit... I mean, I don't understand it, you know? Now, I am going to take control of this guy right down here, guys, since I got here in time. Because... I think it looks funny. It looks weird, kind of weird. When... You have the helper all the way over here... And more than half, like half of the, the header is over there in the grass, not in the field. So I always like to line it back up. It just looks, <laughs> it looks better for, to me it does. I mean, it's like, uh, hey, there might be a big rock or something laying out there in that grass that got there nobody knows about, but because we cultivated the field we know there's nothing out here in the field but there could be something out there in the grass we don't know about that so I, it just looks better for me if the overlap is on the field side and not the grass side if it's just a little bit I don't mind but if it's going to be half of the machine and that goes for any of the machines. If you've watched me play a little bit, then you know I do it, the, the same thing with all the machines. Now there's sometimes, like, if I got busy looking at the, one of the menus and that guy had turned around and was already headed back and stuff like that, I wouldn't stop it. I'd just let it go. doesn't really hurt it. But if I can catch it, I will. Now, one thing I got to remember, well, I don't really have to repair it yet. I am using some fuel. We do get free fuel at the farm. We don't really get free fuel, guys. I mean, we do, but we pretend like we don't. We pretend like we have like 
a contract. What am I doing? Oh, we're done. Okay. I almost forgot. I, I had to think about that for a second because I was thinking, why am I driving? I was supposed to have a helper doing this. <laughs> Now, one thing I did here, guys, if you haven't seen my other episodes, I did put a, a second uh, fill station down here. We have one at the, the same one at the farm. Actually, I think the one at the farm looks new. This one looks kind of old. It's supposed to. It's called the old one. But it gives us free free fertilizer, you know, free seeds, uh, stuff like that. So I put one down here so I don't have to go back. And we also have our own fertilizer spreader down here. I need to buy a tractor for that. At some point I will. But for the time being, all our equipment, we're bringing it down here from the farm. Eventually, I'll have all this stuff down here and at the farm. We'll have everything we need because we've got fields on the other side of the railroad track right over there. You can kind of see the discoloration of one of them right there in the middle of the screen right there. But there's about five or six fields over there. We can see here. We've got one, but then we've got all these. Oh, there's a lot of fields here, actually. We've got this big section, that big field. There's a big field. But... Yeah, just right over here. There's a field right there and then just across the road. So we can start working all these also. But not yet. Would be nice to have a couple of big fields. But like I said, I really want to get this field, this one, and then I want to buy this one. I got these two here to buy. And then we can buy these. So... We yeah, we're just going to get this whole section first. And then we will uh, decide where we want to move. In fact, we will probably move. Where am I looking? Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, up here, this field. Number 11. So once we get all this down here, we get this, this, and these in here, and these three right here everything that's kind of local to the farm then we want to come up here and buy this one this will be the first one that's really away from home that we'll buy and then of course we'll look at these that are across because they're directly across from the farm right here and we can get a lot go a lot of crop if we just do like if we do all these in wheat and then the next time we do them all in barley and then oats and then uh, sorghum, we end up with that and this supplying. That's the uh, grain meal. We end up supplying the grain meal. And of course, we've got some fields up here, too, that's close to the grain mill that we could look at. No, this is I'm sorry. This is the grain mill. What was this? I don't know what that is. To be honest, I don't. I need to come down here. We need to come down here and look at town. Uh, there's a cereal factory and stuff. So uh, I haven't been down there on this... Uh, this series we haven't even gone in, into town yet and looked around we should do that I do know there is a collectible over here at the ballpark somewhere up here in the stadium I don't remember where the rest of them are this would be a nice field to have but anyway Okay, so that is done. We got that field done. I'm going to go park this over here because this is where we'll use it next. I'm 
I'm pretty sure this is where this will be the next field that's ready to harvest. Okay, so now we've got a fertilizer spreader. I want to look at something. I'm just interested in a small tractor. $42,000, 75 horsepower. Now something I want to look at Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any minimum horsepower to be able to operate this thing that I have. I actually have two of them. So I could buy a small tractor let me see I could buy a Vultra What other ones are there? That one looks kind of cool. There's a Vulture, 110,000. Do I want to spend that much? I don't think I need to spend that much. How about 84,000? Ooh, look at that. Trail bore will set up standard. Let's just say, uh, uh, let's think about this. Wide tires with weights. Now, I don't know what's changing. I'm looking for something that I do see. Oh, something inside there is changing. Oh, okay. Oh. Active. I'm trying to figure out like how the controls and stuff. We can see them changing inside there. I'm just trying to look. This one has the monitor, so I guess we'll keep that. Front loader, attacher, no. No, I don't need that. Main color. Well, main color needs to be red. Because the uh, fertilizer the fertilizer spreader is red. 107,000. I'm not going to buy this yet. I just decided I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to use... the main tractor that I bought. I'll just use this one. For now. I will buy another tractor. I might can buy like an old cheap tractor. But I, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just not going to spend any money on it right now. Now, before we do anything else, though, let's get... 
Let's get our truck. And then let's go. I should put the cover on if I'm gonna get out on the road. I normally do that. Now, we're gonna go pick up our other soybeans. That we have, because I do want some more cash. Then I might be able to go buy, so I might go ahead and buy a tractor. We'll see. We'll just take all of it and go sell it. We'll have to look and see. I think we're going to go to uh, the Grain Mill South. So we will be looking to see here just right now. Grain Mill South for soybeans. Uh, let's see. Feed and grain south is six thousand five fifty two. So feed and grain south is where we're headed. And it is not that far away, actually. Right down there. How much we get? I want to do something right quick while I'm here, guys. I just want to look behind this sign. I may have looked here before. I was just looking. I think I did. I was looking to see if there's a collectible back there. I already kind of scouted around down here. I don't even remember if I found anything down here. I think I looked around down here. I probably did. Whoops. Open that cover. How much did we make? We did pretty good. 270000 So we can buy a tractor. We will go buy a tractor. Well, maybe not. There's some other fields I'm wanting to buy. Maybe wish to buy a field. I think maybe that's the thing to do right now. Instead of buying... Sorry guys, I want to check this over here for collectibles. A bridge is a good place to put a collectible. I don't see anything around here. Let's try this side just to check. I know there is some place where there is one that is like, I can't remember if there was one under the water or it was like real close on a bridge someplace. Let's see if it's down here. You have to look all over the place to find these things. I 
I guess there's not one down here, but. And that's okay. We just want to take a look. Okay, so now we'll just drive back down. We can, let's see, where do we need to go? We need to go back to the farm. No, nope. I'm going to need to be down on the other end. I got canola. The canola field will be next. this done. And then we'll go sleep. Well, we won't go sleep until we get this field done. Oh, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> wow. So I get driving full speed. I don't need to be driving full speed. Now, when we get down to the end, we will have to take control because it's going to leave some spots undone because that fence down there is in the way. And I cannot buy that fence and remove it. Because I, first of all, I can't even buy that property. But I did buy the land that that property down there sits on and I can't sell none of that either and I don't know why so we're just going to do this just to catch the corner right there We'll let it run right here, and then we'll turn it and send it the other way. And then we'll get the cultivator started. Now we'll get the cultivator. Whoops, hit the wrong button. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to drive this way myself. And then I will send the helper back the other way. Like this.
just like that, and then we'll catch that last little strip ourselves because we can uh, adjust the amount of fertilizer that we spread. Of course, we get fertilizer for free, so even if we let the helper, but it would look a little funny. So we'll just run it back ourselves. We'll let the we'll let the cultivator run. I think it'll work fine by itself. See how we narrowed the width of the spreader? We cannot do that with the helper. The helper only spreads it on its maximum capacity. And then we can just go right here and fill it back up. Like that. And then we'll just... Let's see. We'll, we'll put it back where it belongs. I was just going to leave it kind of sit out because we're going to be using it on the other field next to it. But it doesn't matter. We'll put it back where it belongs. Because we want to go reconnect. We want to reconnect to our planter over here. Okay, now let's go right along with this guy for a minute. And then we'll put sunflowers down here. But we might as well pretty much let this guy finish before we start the cedar because the cedar is a lot bigger. It covers a lot more ground than the cultivator does. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to do on this live stream, guys. I say that on every live stream, I think, but that's true. Because I really don't know how much I'm going to want to do. It is almost 1.15 in the morning where I live. I did not realize that. I didn't realize I got started as late as I did. And that's okay, though. I mean, I'm used to, like, sometimes I'll start one at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm okay with that, if that's how I feel, you know, if I feel like doing one. I like to do live streams that are at least about two and a half hours long. It gives me a lot, enough time, I feel, to be able to chat with people, and stuff like that. Uh, there have been a time or two when I was really thinking about ending an episode when somebody, it would show me that somebody started watching. And because they hadn't been there very long, I didn't want to end, you know, as soon as I show up, say, okay, well, I'm leaving now. So I would go do something extra and then sometimes when I did that once I got started on the extra project that person that was watching left <laughs> but that's okay 
but I say pretty much every episode. I don't know how much I'm going to do. I don't know how long it's going to be. I do like to, like, I don't want to do one that's less than two hours, really. And right now, I'm at one hour. That's what I was saying. I didn't realize it was uh, 12.15 in the morning when I started this one. I thought it was a little earlier. I thought it was earlier than that, actually. Much earlier. <laughs> I guess I thought it was earlier because I had gone upstairs. I was upstairs talking to my daughter. And uh, <coughs> I guess I was up there longer than I thought. <coughs> it might have been a little bit later or I just... I don't remember what time I actually went up there, and I actually went up there a little bit later than I thought I did. Because I'm surprised that I've only been live streaming for an hour, and it's 1.15 in the morning. I don't normally start around midnight. I usually start earlier or later. So maybe that's what's got me thrown off a little bit is I just started at an unusual time. And it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's okay. It's just like I said, I, I never know how much I'm going to do. I probably will, like once I get this field finished, I probably will go sleep and we'll do the we'll do that field of canola over there as well. And then I think because I have quite a bit of canola going on, I have a lot of canola in my uh, oil mill. I think I will go ahead and do a field of soybeans. Because we want to keep rotating and every once in a while, every like fourth time, every fourth rotation, we want to do a field of soybeans. Simply because soybeans is our cash crop. We're making money from our production of uh, right now, canola oil, greenhouses and honey. But very soon, we're going to have sunflower to add to it. Let's look and see right quick. The cultivator can run pretty good on its own. Let's, uh, let's look right quick at uh, sunflower oil. We looked at canola oil. We didn't really look at sunflower oil. Now let's see how much it's selling for. See, look, we're at, looks like uh, the top one is <clears throat> red marble. Red marble bowling restaurant. I'm not sure where that's at. But anyway, that's the best one for, that's the bet pe paying $6,600 per thousand liters. Of sunflower oil and we're not making any of that yet we just got this one we've got canola oil and it's five thousand so sunflower oil actually makes about five hundred dollars a thousand per thousand liters more than canola i should have started with sunflower oil so okay good well at least i know that hello there welcome We just harvested some soybeans, went and sold them. 
and we're going to plant sunflowers in here. And then we will go sleep and then harvest that field and get it replanted. We're going to replant it in soybeans. It's got canola growing in it right now. And I hope you've had a good day. It is 1.20 in the morning where I live. And I've been live streaming for the last 65 minutes. So we'll probably be here, well like I said, we're going to do that field over there. So we'll be here for a while yet. <laughs> At least another hour, hour and a half. The farm is looking pretty good. I don't know if you've uh, watched some of the other episodes or if you've been following along. There is someone that comes and watches and hangs out some, but I don't know if it's the same person or if you're new. If you're new, welcome. If you've been following along, then you may, you, you may have be aware that we bought some new fields in the last episode. We bought, actually we bought what, one, two, three, four, five, six new fields in the last episode. But we've got several more that we want to buy it's really gonna if we get the right ones i i feel i shouldn't say i feel that's not appropriate it's not correct i think if we buy the right fields if we just pay attention we buy the right fields in the right order it's really going to make a difference in the farm We did buy some new equipment. I was actually just looking at buying a new tractor. But I decided not to buy it yet. I do want to buy one for that uh, fertilizer spreader that's sitting right there by that thing. By that fill station. I do want to buy a tractor for it. So we are going to buy several more tractors. We kind of have to be careful about what we're doing, how we're doing it. Uh, right now, I don't think we're in a lot of danger of using up all our memory slots. But we do have to be aware that everything we buy is taking up slots. So, like, for example, if I buy a small tractor, it tells me 11 slots. That's for that yellow tractor right there, that first one. 11 slots and I've used 1430 out of 2600 so I still have 1200 more to go uh, one thing I wouldn't mind doing uh, no tractor okay that's interesting I was hoping there might be a cheap tractor right here for sale but there's not but a small tractor, even that tractor right there. I could use that tractor right there with that fertilizer spreader. Actually, I could use this one. I 
I could buy this right here. Actually, I think I might. I think I'm going to buy this one, guys. It's not real expensive. So I think I'll buy this for the fertilizer spreader. Now, let's go find it. We can just jump out right here. It's over here. We'll just run over here. Now, hopefully that weight on the front of it is enough to hold the front end down with the fertilizer spreader on the back. If not, I'll have to sell this tractor and go buy a different tractor because I'll have to buy the individual weight to put on the front. But that gives me a permanent tractor for this right here. Look, look. <laughs> oh, that figures. That figures. All right, well, that's not gonna work. I can't use that tractor, let's... Okay, that guy's got plenty of room to keep working. That is a real bummer. So I am not gonna buy a tractor right now. I'm just gonna go sell this one. Yeah, that's a real bummer. Because that's all I need. I just need a, a cheap tractor. But i got to be able to put a weight on the front end of it. If this one has a 300. I needed like a 7, at least like a 750 probably. Weight wise. So we can just sell this. What are we going to get for 38,000? Yeah, we spent more than that, but that's all right. We only lost about what? five or six thousand dollars maybe so that's okay I mean all right I had to do something okay so it's gone All right, we'll be able to plant this soon. So I'll be right back in a second, guys. But we'll let this guy run. I'll just let you ride along with him for a minute, and I'll be right back.
All right, sorry guys, I had to leave for a second. I had to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. done yeah all right well this can just sit over here out of the way now fold it up we'll just leave it sit over here for now now we want I don't need the cedar down here I don't need this guy I will need it when we get to the other field. But for now, we're gonna use this one. And I think I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna drive down to this end. Let's open this guy up. Now, I, I still got to get used to the width of this piece of equipment. I'm not familiar with it. I, do, I have used it. I don't want to make it seem like I haven't because we do have some fields of sunflowers down at the other end on the other side of the farm. I think maybe we do that right there. All right. Okay, good, yeah. We got right to the edge. We'll let, let this guy go down and back, and then we'll turn him and have him go the other direction. And we've got to finish this field before we can move on to the next field. We'll have to go sleep and let the calendar turn over into the next month. The planting is going to go a whole lot quicker. Big difference between using this planter and using the cedar. Of course, we can't use the cedar and do sunflowers. We've got to have a planter. So I decided since we had to buy another piece of equipment anyway, we might as well buy one a little bit bigger that will save us a little bit of time because we do have some big fields on this map and we will be buying some of them. So this is about the right size. Let's get this guy going. This is about the right size for us. For most of our fields, we actually want to get a, a bigger harvester. I need $500,000 for a harvester, though. So that's a little ways down the road, but not too far. We could do, we could do one rotation and plant all our fields in soybeans, which would be fun to do, by the way, and just really rack up on some cash. There are some other quick ways to make cash. In fact, I will show I will show you one of those. I will not show you right now. I was going to get ready to. But I will uh, get this guy turned around first because I want to get him away from that fence.
move them over just a little bit more. Something about like that, I guess. Now we're going to let it go down. We're going to let it turn around and come back. I wish it could follow the curve in the field. But they don't work that way. They just work in straight lines. And I guess that's okay. Let's see how well he navigates this right here. What's he going to do? I'm hoping that whatever he does, it actually works out correctly. I mean, I hope he figures it out. Because now he's got to back up to the edge of the field. Very good. It seems like with some some equipment, they do better than they do with other pieces of equipment. I don't understand that part. But this guy did good. Okay. Now, even though that guy did really good, or that girl, I don't know which it was. Could have been a female. But... As soon as that helper did a good job, I have to fire him. <laughs> Simply because I want to change the direction that we're working in here. All right. There we go. Now this field will plant fairly quickly. Let's see, how wide is this thing? How, what are we, let's see. Let's go to the garage. And we'll go to the planter. And we are working with a 12 meter width. So it's twice, twice as much as that cedar sitting down there. Because that's a six meter. So we are get, uh, getting twice as much done. So that's good. But we want, let me see. I want to look at the headers because this is the header that I want. And we already know, kind of know what headers we want, not those. We want something like this. Maybe the fan, the tool height, that's, yeah, tool, tool height control with like this one, the fent. It doesn't matter. Both of these, I think, 40 foot, 40 foot. Boy, I don't know if I want a 40 foot or if I want the 30 foot. 30 feet is like 10 meters. So I think maybe, yeah, I think I'm wanting a 30 foot one, not the 40. I think I'll get the 30. I might should just get the 40 though, you know, to be, to be real about it. 40 foot, 40 foot, what's the difference? Number of slots, what else? Nothing else changes. The fent power flow, 40 foot. The fent Dynaflex, 40 foot. They're all the same price. Maybe I should get that one. But then what kind of corn header do we want? I think the corn header is like this one right here. It's only nine meters. I'm pretty sure, yeah, 
because that's the one I want right there, the harvester. Well, I don't know that I actually want the harvester with that. But I do want one of these harvesters, like this one. But I want one with a bigger tank. Uh, this one, yeah, this one right here. And this harvester, so that's 419,000. So we need 500,000 because we need two headers. We need 600,000. But that's the harvester we're going to get. And then we'll just use, we'll use our original, the green one. We'll use our green one out on the farm. I gotta tell you, man, I'm, I'm I'm glad I started live streaming when I did. I was gonna wait. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, but I wasn't real sure how to do it. My son-in-law in Texas showed me how to do it through PlayStation, because I am a long ways from meeting YouTube requirements for live streaming. But with the PlayStation, and I, I don't know, you know, how it works, why I'm able to do it with the PlayStation without meeting the requirements of YouTube, but I am, so, and I didn't know that. My son-in-law in Texas has showed me that I could, so I was going to wait until the next release of this farming simulator game, because I thought there would be one released this year 2024 <clears throat> but i found out that the or i saw a video that said something about the next release of this game won't be until 2025 so then i decided to go ahead and uh start doing the live streams and i'm glad i did now i will be honest one of the big things about doing live streams is to chat but i understand that not everybody that watches live stream has access to chat especially if you're watching on a smart smart tv because i watch youtube on smart tv all the time so it doesn't let me leave comments and stuff like that so i i understand the uh the less participation for those who are watching on a smart TV, because you can't participate. And I appreciate those who watch on their smart TVs. I will ask you to give me a thumbs up though. Give me a like on the, on the live stream. I don't think I got, I don't think anybody's give me a like on any of my videos or not my live streams, except me. <laughs> so if you are watching and you can't participate in chat, you're already a subscriber, please give me a like just to let me know that you appreciate it because I, I do it. There's no comments, so I don't know if people actually enjoy it or not, if the same person is watching. 
I often do have at least one person watching, and I think that's really cool. But I don't know if it's the same person. <laughs> I look at some of these other videos, some of the other gamers, and it's like, how do you get that many people watching you at the same time? I don't know how YouTube works. I don't know, you know, how they, uh, like, uh, restrict how many people can watch at one time and stuff like that. I don't know what the, uh, how the viewership works with YouTube. Just like I said, I just on YouTube requirements alone my channel is a long ways away from being able to live stream I could not live stream on my cell phone for example I couldn't just log into my my account here my YouTube account and do a live stream I have to go through my PlayStation and I I'm guessing that uh, like if you play play games on Xbox they may have the same capability. I don't know, so I can't say one way or another. Like I said, I recently learned that PlayStation, I can do live streams if I go through the PlayStation. So that's what I do. I wanna do some experimenting. I do not have a camera for the PlayStation, but I want to do some experimenting. I wanna get a camera so I can do some experimenting. Uh, I don't know how they work, and I don't want to talk about what I want my experiment to be. Okay, now we're going to get rid of this guy. I want to line this up a little bit better. Now, usually if I back up slow enough, if I just take my time back up slow, I'm pretty good. I can back, I can back things up pretty good. I used to drive a tractor trailer. That's a little bit different than playing a video game, though. <laughs> but it does help having that experience. And that was quite an experience, I can tell you. <laughs> Being a truck driver, over the road truck driver, go out and stay out for about three weeks and then come back home for a couple of days. I'd like to be doing that now because now I'm retired. I turned 65 in a couple of weeks. Now we can fold this up. Yeah, I turned 65 in a couple of weeks. It would be real cool to be out on the road now. But I always kind of wanted to do like a, the team driving. Because when you first start driving a truck, like I got a job and I was put with a trainer. And let me tell you something, me and that trainer, that truck rarely stopped. We run that truck. Okay, so that's, we're, we're done with that field. We got it planted. So what we can do now is we can go here and we can sleep for a day. And we'll just sleep till nine o'clock. And then we're gonna go see if our canola field is done. It might be, it, we might have to sleep two more months. We'll have to see. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Let's go back down here. Oh no, it's not done. See? But I don't know if other fields are done. All right, 
I got to do this, guys, I, because I have to be able to keep track of what's going on. And I'm not good enough. I need to learn how to use the map to tell me what, like, what I have that's ready and stuff like that. I'm just going to run through here, guys, just so I can see. Okay, so none of this stuff is ready yet, and that's good. So we can sleep for another day. And it is January, we'll sleep until nine o'clock. In the winter time, I wanna sleep until nine. In the spring and the summer and the fall, I will sleep until eight, because it's daylight by eight o'clock. But during the winter months, December, January, it's still dark at eight o'clock. All right, now we got to do the same thing again because I have to know, well, first of all, that's still not ready. Gosh. Okay. I can, oh, good. I do not have to run over there. I can see over there and I can see well, I can't see as good as I want to, so I'm going to move this truck. I want to, I got to get in the right spot. So I can see, what if I park this way? I can see those fields, and... Well, I'm trying to figure out where I can park this truck, guys, where I can see those fields over there and these fields right here. Maybe I park like this. I'm not, see, I'm just, I'm not sure where, I, see, that's in the way. Okay, there, I can see over there, and I can see over there. And then, so I need to sleep one more time this is always kind of a nuisance part we'll sleep till nine o'clock it's just i'm spending so much time sleeping Now, we'll go down here, we'll go jump in this truck right here where we can see, okay, it's not ready. That's not ready. Again, it's not ready. Oh my gosh. This field's gonna be ready. <laughs> oh, and you know what? That field over there looks like it's... No, I can see a green field down there. See that green field right there, right at the top of the screen right there? You can actually see two. The first one at the very top of the screen right there in the center is our farm. And then the one below it right there is that next field that's like in between those properties and we bought that that's ours too i can see it's not ready yet either all right well we got to go back over here man 
I want to get it to where we we never have to sleep more than just to get to the next day. We're not doing all this constant sleep, and we're gonna sleep till eight o'clock now. Gosh, I was hoping I. I was hoping I had, was at a place where I'd be able to avoid, I had to sleep like four months in a row. All right, now see, all this stuff is ready. <laughs> yeah, it figures. Okay, we're gonna have so much stuff that has to be done. Oh my gosh, okay, that's not ready yet. Those are ready. All that sunflower is ready. And canola is ready, so, oh my gosh. There is a lot that's ready to be done. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Now, this may turn into be like a, I may have to reset my, uh, This right here. I'm probably going to have to come uh, right here and put it to a two day month because I don't think I'm going to do all this in this episode because we'll be here for another eight hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change that to two days. Okay, so let's get started. We'll do this one, and then we will do, we will go down and do the sunflowers. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. So we're gonna get this field turned We'll go do the three sunflower fields. That will probably be the end of this live stream. And then in the next live stream, we will come in, we will sleep for one day, and then do the fields that are at the farm, the three small fields. Now, I don't know what this guy's doing. I'm not sure why is it backing all the way up to the end of this field again. That is a little bit weird to me. But I'm just going to let him do it. I'm just going to let him do it. I don't think I've seen him do this before. I know like uh, the cedar, I think it's the cedar. Oh, see, he's going to turn around and then he's going to be like, oh, I'm finished. No, you are not finished. While that guy's doing that, we're gonna go check something. And yep, I'm gonna run. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, I ran everywhere. I'd run all the way across the map. I could have drove the truck, but there's really no reason to drive the truck. We're just going over here. We just want to take a look at this field right down here. Because I don't know if it's ready to harvest yet or not. I didn't look at it. 
It is. And this is also sunflowers. No, what is this? Soy soybeans. Whoa, more money. <laughs> but that is going to have to wait until the next episode. So our home fields are soybeans, and that field is soybeans. So they will all, those four fields will be on the same day. Okay. We just bought that field in the last episode, so it, it will take me a little bit to kind of figure out a system. And so I'll know what fields are all done at the same time. So we're riding along with this guy for a minute. Actually, let's, let's jump out for a second. And we'll go get in our truck. I just want to move it. See, it's going to be in the way. Okay, there we go. Now, we just had happen what I did not want to happen. I did not want it to get to where I have so much that has to be done at the same time. But I don't want there to be nothing to do for several days in a row because those days are actually months. No, not this time it won't be, but because I, I you saw me change the, the, uh, the settings to a two-day month. Now, I will have to remember to switch that back. And what I might do, if I don't forget to do it, what I might do at the end of this episode is just go sleep until the next day and then I can reset it back to one day months so I don't forget to change that setting. But we'll see. I may, for, I, I may forget to do that at the end because I normally don't. I normally do the sleeping at the... Uh, the beginning of the episode not at the end but because I had to change the setting if I, if I do it the same as I always do then I might forget that I changed the setting to two days a month so it might be better if I don't forget to do it is to go ahead and do that at the end of this episode and that way, sorry guys, I don't have to remember next time. It's two, it's five minutes after two in the morning where I live. And if you've watched any of my episodes and stuff, then uh, you know that pretty much anytime I yawn, I give a, a time report. <laughs> If I yawn, I tell you what time it is. <laughs> it takes quite a while to get this field done. I will say that. And then I've got three fields of sunflowers. The harvest. And the reason I want to do the sunflowers and not the soybeans 
is because I want to put the sunflowers in our oil mill and start getting some sunflower oil produced because we make a lot of money on it. And you can see we jumped up to 651,000. We, we had to sleep for a few months there. So now we're up to $651,000. Which is good because I think we were at like what, 485 or something like that? Something around 485 maybe. And we've jumped up to 651. And that's all because we have our uh, production lines, our oil mill producing canola oil. We have our greenhouses and our beehives. So those are all making us money behind the scenes. And of course, our soybeans, they're our main cash crop. But you could say that uh, like canola is a cash crop because we're actually using it to generate revenue by producing oil out of it. Sunflowers, we're going to produce oil. So you could say they're cash crops, but they're not literally a cash crop. It's a, a production crop because we're using it to make oil. Our soybeans are strictly a cash crop. That's the only thing we use them for, is cash. Our wheat, our barley, our oats, our sorghum, we're gonna take all that to the grain mill and we're gonna turn it into flour so we can use the flour in the bakery. So those aren't true cash crops because we're not selling them for cash we will the first time we sell them we will sell them to the grain mill and then we'll buy the grain mill so my plan my goal is to really is just to grow and harvest a lot of wheat a lot of barley a lot of oats and a lot of sorghum before we buy the grain mill. We want to, uh, I really would like to have enough of each of those four crop types to be able to completely fill the grain mill with grain before we ever buy it because we can sell it uh, I was explaining this a little bit earlier. We can let that sit there for a second. Let's go back up here. If we look here and we go back, let's see. We go back up here to the top. Canola oil. Now we slept through several more months, so we're back, back down, but we had like a hundred and, I can't remember what we started with, 150,000 liters, 140,000 liters or something like that. I don't remember, but it was pretty much full on the canola oil right, or canola grain right there. But we sold that. We got paid for all that grain right there. I can't remember how much we sold it for, but we got the going price for canola, which is a good price. And then we bought the oil mill and we got the grain back and now we're making oil out of it so we make a lot more money on that first round it would have been nice if I'd have had that enough sunflowers in reserve in my silo to be able to completely fill it with sunflowers before I bought it also because then I would have got paid for the first round of sunflowers because I will not get paid at this point. When I put sunflowers in there, I'm not going to make no money off the sunflower seeds that I put in there. I'm only going to get paid for the oil. But that canola, I got paid for the canola. Then I bought the, the oil mill. And now I'm getting, I got the grain back. 
So now I'm getting to turn, not only did I get paid for it, I'm getting to convert it to oil and getting paid for it again. So that's what I want to do with the grain mill. And I, that's not something I had ever thought about. I did think about not buying the oil mill until I could fill up. But I, where I really I kind of messed up is I bought it too early. I should have saved all that canola in my silo, got enough sunflowers to actually fill up that slot, and I just made, would have made a whole lot more money in the background. So that's what I'm going to try to do with the grain mill. I'm going to try to save it until I have enough grain of the four different crop types. And I'm going to assume that the grain mill is pretty much like an oil mill and probably requires about the same amount of grain to fill it the capacity on each grain type. So around 150,000 liters. Enough to fill this truck right here. That's what I put in there. However much this truck held is how much I put in it. And it's like 135,000, 140 liters. 140,000 liters. 130, I can't remember. So I want to be able to have that much of uh, wheat, barley, oats, and uh, sorghum before I buy the grain mill. I want to have uh, all that in reserve so I can just like make trips, right? Go take a truckload of wheat, come back, get a truckload of barley, come back, get a truckload of oats, come back and get a truckload of uh, sorghum. And then, so we can double our money on one round of growth, on one harvest, you know what I mean? Now I am glad I have the, uh, the tool height adjustment header or tool height control header. Uh, I, I don't know what that's all about tool height control I just know that if you use that modded header it allows the harvester to operate at capacity speed see 12 miles an hour look here because this is the harvester that I want I want this one no this one So, that's not the one. Uh, I need to look at something. Okay, yeah, this is, this is probably the one I want right here. So it's what, 404,000? I, I, I thought it was this one. But I gotta, I gotta look at, see, it's not letting me change the wheel setup on this one. Uh, why does it, there we go. Okay, so this is not the one I want. I don't want the one with the tracks. So, with that being the case, that has a smaller tank, so I'm going to have to go with this one up here.
Now, what is the difference between that one and this one? Well, this one is less slots. We have uh, everything else stays the same. This is just less slots for some reason. Let's look at this one. Yeah, and see, I can. So that's how I want it. That's the one I want right there. About four hundred nineteen thousand dollars. But I, what I, what I wanted to look at was see it runs at twenty four miles an hour. So with the modded header, it will be even twice as it's going to run twice as fast as this one. It's hard to control. So once you get used to it, but it, it, they are hard to control that way. But if this these fields are going to go by pretty quickly once I get some bigger equipment. But I got to have a million bucks. For that big harvester, I need a million bucks. Because I got to buy two headers for it. And trailers. <laughs> for those headers. But that's okay. I mean, you know, we do what we got to do. But you end up getting a bunch of stuff. And I actually like having two of those harvesters. Now, the second harvester will only take up one slot. Once you buy something, you can buy the next one for only one slot, which is good because you got something that takes up 25 slots. You don't want to have to be using up slots that many times, you know? Now this canola, when we get done harvesting, we're just gonna take it over and we're gonna, we'll put as much as we can in the oil mill. I don't know for sure how much that'll be. I don't know if it will take all of it or if it will only take part of it, but we'll give it as much as it wants. If there's anything left over, we'll just go put it in our silo because it won't hurt to have it over there in reserve. We can just leave that guy sit there. He's fine sitting right where he's at. He's out of the way. So I'm thinking one more one more harvest of soybeans. And, well, see, I want to buy that big harvester. Because it'll make a lot of this stuff go faster, but at the same time, I want more fields. I think more fields is more important for right now. It won't be too much longer. Uh, what I should do, I mean, really what I should do is I should plant all our fields in soybeans just to make a super bunch of money. <laughs> I'm just thinking I might plant this field in uh, soybean. If, here's what we'll do. Once we harvest and I go uh, put 
this grain in the oil mill. If there is enough to completely refill the oil mill and leave me some left over, I will do this filled in soybeans. Because you got to remember now, we slept through like four months. And we only need another month or so. Plus, we slept whatever it was at the beginning of the, of the uh, episode to get our other fields ready. So we slept, we slept through several. Yeah, we slept through several uh, months. And we still have all that grain left in the oil mill. So if we can re completely refill it, we'll do this one in soybeans because I know we can go one rotation and not run out of, of canola in the oil mill. And that's my main concern. I don't want to run out. I want to try to keep them as full as I can. Hopefully we can keep it full and keep building a surplus in our silos. And then once we have enough and we have like a oil mill full and we have enough to uh, fill it again like another a truckload, we can actually just go sell it, you know, to a uh, farmer's market or whatever. I don't know how to use the train, guys. We'll always get more money if we sell it to uh, load it on the train and sell it to Goldcrest Valley. But I don't know how to do that. I may learn how to do that during this uh, this series on Elm Creek. But we'll see. I may not do that either. But it might be it might be interesting to learn. Like I said, I'm kind of thinking I want to do some new things. Like I do know that one of the things I want to do is maybe olives. I may have to do some grapes. And you may have heard me open that drink right there. It's not a beer. You may have heard the pssst. It's not a beer. It's a Coke Zero. <laughs> I just heard that noise and I thought, well, you might have heard that. <laughs> Coke Zero is about the only thing I drink besides water. I am pre-diabetic, so a number of years ago, my uh, my doctor told me I needed to uh, stop drinking like Coke and stuff like that. All the, uh, the soda with sugar in it. So I did switch to Coke Zero. It took me a while to get used to the, the taste. But uh, now that I am used to it, it didn't take that long. Trust me. It did not take as long to get used to the taste of Coke Zero as I think it would for the, to get used to the taste of Diet Coke. I do not like Diet Coke. I do like Coke Zero. At this point, I like it better than I like regular Coke. Because for me, at this point, the regular Coke is too sweet. But if you don't get, give yourself time to get used to drinking, like the Coke Zero, then, you know, 
you certainly won't think that Coke is too sweet. And I can, you know, it's the same argument for uh, diet Coke too. If you drink it enough and you get used to it, then that's the, the flavor that you're accustomed to. That's what you expect when you get a Coke, you expect that flavor, the diet Coke flavor. And so to drink Coke, regular Coke, or Coke, even Coke Zero, would like, it would taste so different. I think Diet Coke and Coke Zero might be a little bit closer. It wouldn't be quite as a stretch, but, you know, or even like caffeine-free Coke. I don't think I'd want to drink that. My nutritionist, wanted me to drink Diet Coke, and I told her no. <laughs> I told her, I done switched to Coke Zero, and that's all the switching I'm going to do. And she said, well, okay, I'll, I'll be okay with that. <laughs> but now, I will tell you, that woman was pretty cool. Young girl, you know, she was a licensed nutritionist worked out of my the medical plaza where I worked where I was a pay a client a patient and uh, she was really cool uh, because they wanted me to like change my diet and all that kind of stuff you know being pre-diabetic I also have chronic kidney disease so uh they wanted me to make changes in my diet, so I decided, well, okay, I'll try to do something different, you know, but I'm a creature of habit. There's certain things I like, and that's what I eat. That's what I buy myself, you know. I cook for myself. I do it all myself, so I get what I want. And, uh, and I was living in Hawaii then, too. I don't live in Hawaii anymore. But I was living there then, you know, but anyway, I tried to substitute some stuff. And I went and I saw my nutritionist. And she asked me about substitutions. I told, well, I told her, I said, she asked me if I'd made any changes in my diet, and I told her, "Well, yeah, I, you know, I, you know, I went to the store and I tried to be conscientious, and you know, I, I did switch some things up." So she asked me about it, you know. And she's like, "Okay, so what? What did you get? What would you normally get?" And I says, "Well, I would normally get this," and she says, "Well, what did you get instead of that?" And I tell her what it was, and she say, "No," nope. and she say, "What else?" And I'd tell her what I used to get and what I'd got that time. And she said, nope. And I told her, and everything, everything I had switched to, she was still telling me, no, no, no. And I told her, I said, well, see, there's a, a really big problem because I don't know what to switch to. I don't have any idea. I, I thought I was doing good. Now you told me no on every one of them. So she asked me, what grocery store do you normally go to? And I told her and she said, okay, when do you want to go there next? And I will meet you there. We'll make an appointment. I will meet you there. I will walk around the grocery store with you. You show me what you would normally get and I will show you some ideas for substitutes. And that was pretty cool. I thought, wow, that's okay. I, I'm sure she went back to her office afterwards and filled the people who were paying my medical because I, have in, I had insurance, so I wasn't have to pay for it out of my pocket. So I'm sure she went back and billed for it, but I thought it was cool that she met me at the grocery store. 
was willing to do that and show me what options would be uh, appropriate. You know what I mean? Uh, there's all kinds of options, but it doesn't mean one uh, one was any better than the other. So I picked all the ones that weren't better than what I already had, you know? <laughs> and then I was doing Pilates. I had an appointment for Pilates. My insurance paid for that too. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Although I'm not really, I don't really do all that kind of stuff. I mean, it was all part of physical therapy. I have, uh, I was, I have carpal tunnel syndrome. I also have a herniated disc with permanent sciatic nerve damage. And I was getting injections in my spine to help uh, reduce swelling. So that, that's, uh, and I was, like I said, I have chronic kidney disease and uh, I'm pre-diabetic, but I got really sick. And all this stuff was discovered. It's kind of interesting because all this stuff was discovered after I got sick because I have an arrhythmia known as sustained let's see what sustained ventricular tachycardia and when i first started having trouble with that it just it was all of a sudden it was originally it was a, a non-sustained which means it would just last for a couple seconds. It's a, an arrhythmia, a, a heart condition, and it, but it would only last for a few seconds. And then I may not have another episode for several months. And I actually did have a, a, have a couple episodes at work. I was a construction worker, a carpenter, and uh, I had a couple of episodes, and when I'd have an episode, it would literally knock me to my knees. I couldn't breathe, I, I had no energy, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't do anything. And uh, I'd had a couple episodes, and it passed really briefly, and I didn't know what was going on, you know, but because it only lasted for a few seconds, and then I could recover and a few minutes later I felt fine. My boss and I really didn't think a whole lot about it. It was just something weird that it happened. And, uh, but it finally got to a point, it, my condition changed from, my arrhythmia changed from non-sustained to sustained, which means where non-sustained was that the arrhythmia was not persistent. It was periodically, and it would only last for a few seconds. But then it changed to where it was constant. And I could hardly do anything. I, it, it actually took me about four years to recover, enough to where I could trust myself to drive or anything. But. So I have a lot of stuff going on, but I was doing Pilates and it was all about physical therapy, but for my knees and stuff, because I would go in and that, that therapist would take a knife, like a butter knife or, or um, it wasn't really a butter knife, but it looked like one. It was a type of massage tool she was using and stuff. But anyway, as she would work out all the scar tissue, uh, I mean, Actually, I'm rubbing my knee right now while I'm talking about it, and I can feel all that scar tissue that's causing, like, the tissues, the muscle tissues and all that stuff to, uh, 
like attached to the bones and stuff where they're not supposed to and if you break all that stuff up oh you hurt a lot less so she was doing that stuff so i i have a lot of stuff going on but anyway the pilates stuff was kind of pretty cool and it, it's kind of interesting too because like that woman the pilates my pilates that my physical therapist and my nutritionist and the nurses at the doctor's office they would all tell me that i am their favorite patient they would tell everybody else i'm there i was their favorite client their favorite patient <laughs> and i was like well uh, i don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> But even with all these medical conditions, like I said, I had, I was having injections in my back. I actually was going to get an implant. But then they decided they wanted to, uh, to try the injections first. Well, actually I had had injections once and it, you know, it did, it, it, they didn't work for all that long. They did work a little bit, they did help. But. I wanted, they wanted to do them a second time and I wanted to do uh, an implant. I can't remember what it's called now, but there is an implant that they do that sends electrical signals that interrupts uh, the pain signal and they put these uh, like diodes but they have to put all this stuff inside your body you know it's like a person gets a, a pacemaker but you get this little it's an actual box uh, uh, electronic device that they implant in your hip area And it sends signals to these places along your spine where they put these diodes, these little electric wires, and it sends it a, a little electric charge and stimulates the nerves and blocks the pain. It interrupts that pain signal coming from the nerve. So I wanted to do that because it's a per more permanent solution. But I didn't get to do that because they decided they wanted to. Actually, I talked to the people from that did the. Uh, the manufacturer of the implant because you had to have like a. Like a, a consultation with them before you could even get it. You had to have a consultation with them. They wanted to make sure that you understood what it was all about and everything because when they first did it they would only plant the implant the diodes and, and nothing was permanent and then they just take this this like this box kind of thing like a metal box I, i'm not sure what it was made out of but the implant that that they would later implant they actually would just tape it to you and you would use it for like a week and see if it actually did help you do they have the diodes in the right places you know so they could pinpoint everything and then once that they had everything pinpointed and if it actually did work and help you then they would do the implant the actual implant and, and implant all the wires and all that stuff and I wanted to do that because I felt like it was a more uh, permanent solution. Because some days I can barely walk. But they wanted to do more injections. And I really didn't want to, but we did it. And then I ended up moving, relocating, coming back to the mainland. And I haven't seen a doctor since then. So.
But anyway, yeah, I have a lot going on. But I thought it was pretty cool of my nutritionist over there in Hawaii to help me out like that. I thought that was pretty cool. I remember one time I was at the, the doctor's office and uh, I had just got through seeing the doctor, but I had had some x-rays done because they were still really trying to figure out what was going on. I mean, I was really sick for a long time and they were trying to figure out what was going on. They couldn't figure it out, and, which to me, that surprised me. I couldn't understand why they couldn't figure out what was going on. But, uh, you know, EKGs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, I was just getting ready to leave the doctor's office. I saw two different doctors while I was there. So I always had double appointments. They would always work it out that way. So I would just have to go there one time and I could see both doctors that I needed to see that were in that place. And uh, so I had just seen, finished with the second doctor and I was getting my new appointment set up and stuff like that. And I was walking across the lobby, headed for the exit door. And the first doctor came out and caught me. And it was like, uh, you know, called me by my name and was like, uh, I need to see you in my office for a minute. And it's like, oh my goodness. What's that about? Because it has to be bad news. That's the thing. It has to be bad news. It cannot be good news. If the doctor stops you as you're walking out the lobby, when you're at the door, if the doctor stops you, it's not because, well, I shouldn't say it's not, but I really don't think it's because they have good news for you. So I was like, okay, what's going on there? And then she tells us, she tells me that when I had my x-rays done, they found what appeared to them to be like uh, these little flakes of metal. What? These little flakes of metal in my lungs. And they were thinking they might have to do some further testing to figure out what's going on and they might have to do a biopsy. And I'm like, what? You know, that's pretty invasive kind of stuff when you're talking about your lungs. So I was like, uh, okay. I don't know whatever happened with that because I moved. <laughs> so I have not seen a doctor in a number of years, guys, but that, that may not be uh, the wisest thing, you know? Well, I need this tractor back. I... I'll tell you what. I need a tractor. I just, I need a tractor.
let me see. I'm going to have to spend more money than I wanted to. I like that. It doesn't run fast enough, 15 miles an hour. And I don't know what its working speed would be with the Voltra. Okay, this one I can attach a weight to. This one I could attach a weight to. It's got the three point, and I'm okay with three point. I don't want to put a weight on the front. Well, actually, yeah, I do. I think I can do that. We do want the biggest engine. I like. I like the Trelleborg. I don't really need the double. 20 Twin wheels. Twin rear wheels. Rear narrow twin wheels. Narrow tires. <laughs> Wide tires with weights. I might just do wide tires. I think I'll do that. Wide tires with weights. We'll leave it red. We'll leave it white. And we'll just buy it at that. I think I'm going to like that better. Now I don't have to drive back and forth. And we still got $555,000. Now I hope this weight is enough to hold the front of this tractor down. I normally use a 750 pounds or kilograms or whatever that was. I usually have a 750 pound. Okay, that will work. And as long as it will work, that's all I care about. So now I don't have to drive back and forth with the tractor. We have a tractor down here that will work for us. Do what we need it to do. Now, yeah, I am wasting a little bit, especially when it comes to the money because look how fast our money's going down. But that's because we're talent, we, we've got it set up for the, the helper to buy their own fertilizer, even though we've got a tank full of fertilizer. I don't want to have to go refill the tank with fertilizer. So I just let the helper buy it. Now this part always goes fairly quickly. And while this guy is finishing now, I can get the cultivator. And get it started.
We'll get it started like that. And then we want this one. And I do not want to drive across the field. I don't like doing that. So we'll turn around. We could have went down the road. Probably would have worked out just as quickly because we got to go back over to this far edge over here. almost freaked me out a little bit. I saw that tractor and I'm like, I saw it moving and I'm like, what's going on? I was like, oh yeah, okay. That's my helper. <laughs> I am going to do this field in soybeans. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. What did I say we were going to do? Did we even empty the harvester? I got to find out if I emptied this harvester or not. No, I did not. Oh, we got to hurry up and get out of the way. I got a tractor coming my way. Let's back this thing up a little bit. Get over here and see if we can't get out of the way. There we go. Now we can go sell this. We got a half a truckload. Do we have any soybeans? I don't think we do. Nope. Okay. Where can we sell them at? Johnson's Farmer's Market. 6600 let's go sell them no you know what let's save them because we got all these soybeans that we're getting ready to harvest we got four fields of soybeans we're getting ready to harvest we'll go sell all of it at the same time Now that's half a truckload right there. Hopefully we'll get the other half. Well, we're not gonna get the other half. Well, that was just one field though. So maybe with all four of these fields combined, maybe we can end up with one half. Uh, let me see. We can leave this truck sit here. Just leave it sit there. I'm fine with that. Let's get rid of that guy. Because we want to do this. We want to decrease the width.
Oh man, there's some that I missed. Ain't it? It is. Look, there's a little bit right there. I didn't realize I missed that. Huh. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. And there's a little bit more that got missed. Come on, back up. Thank you. I gotta go help the cedar. I gotta go fix something, I'm sure, because you'll see here in a second. It always messes up, and I was, I, I, I did remember that. Actually, I can just leave that up like that. For now. Oh, I never started it. I never even started it because I decided I wanted to look and see. Oh, you know what I did? That is so dumb on my part. I was thinking that I just harvested soybeans. I didn't, I harvested canola. I got totally messed up on what I was doing. We gotta get all this back. We gotta, we're supposed to be putting this in the oil mill and seeing if we have anything left over. And that was going to determine what we plant. Okay. I'm glad I just happened to think of that. That I actually did have a plan. We got 50, 56%. So now we're going to go put this in the oil mill. I don't know why I got to thinking this was uh, soybeans. Probably because I was thinking about planting soybeans. So I was, just, I was thinking about the soybeans. Oh man, I've been on the brakes for a long time. <laughs> they didn't do me any good. I probably could have overshot it and came in the back side of the parking lot back there. Well, yeah, I could have come in back there and probably still made it, but... Now, will it take all of it? If it takes all, nope, it, it didn't take very much at all, did it? Whoops. All right. Well, good. Okay. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with that because that gives us a surplus. And once we get to where we have, we have the, the mill is full and I still have a truckload left then we will uh, we'll sell it 
thought we were going to put the rest of this right back in our, our silo. I'm just going to leave this truck sit here for now. Yeah, I can just leave it sit here. So, what we want to do, yeah, we want to make it soybeans. Hire a helper. There we go. because I've got plenty of canola. Now normally, I would start that planter right when this guy got about just down, well, down to probably the end of that first row, I would have started, but. In this case, sorry guys, had to yawn. It's three o'clock in the morning where I live. In this case, I was not able to do that because I needed to find out whether I could completely fill the oil mill or not. So I was not sure whether I wanted to plant soybeans or canola. Now, what I have to do down here, guys. Well, first of all, I'm going to watch and see what. This guy always starts and then stops. And I want to watch what's going on here. He'll get down back, back down by where this tree is. For some reason, see, why is he backing all the way up? Fire this guy. I don't know why they do this. I do not know why they do that, but they do it. So I think once I get him started on this one, I think he'll be okay. I've had to come over here and fix this every time so far. So I'm thinking this time, because I actually took control of it a little early, that it will not, uh, it won't require me to uh, come back and help it. I can't remember, I was, I was looking at that over there trying to think, have I gone over there and looked for a collectibles yet? I don't think I have, and I think I know where one's at. But I don't think it's here, I think it's across the road over there in that building. We're going to run over here for a second. Oh, this is cool. Huh. That's a little bit deeper ditch than I thought it was. I want to run over here for a second. Uh, where am I looking? Maybe, maybe I didn't search over here. Because I'm thinking there was a collectible 
in here. Somewhere. Maybe it was this one. Yep, there it is. Thousand dollars. Now there might be more over here. I'd have to come back and look again, but I don't know of any, I can't think of any more right off the top of my head. I did remember one being inside under the tunnel there somewhere. So I think we found it. And these guys are working along. Now let's think about something. This harvester where is my my sunflower header is down here at the other end I left it down here by the sunflower fields so we might as well drive this guy down that way Because that will be the next harvest. We can drop the header off at the farm. Or I could just drop it off right here. And we can harvest this one first. Maybe we'll do that. But that will be the next episode. And that's okay. We'll just drop this right here. And now we will go... down to our other fields. Sunflowers. Oh, there it is. I was thinking I left it down there by the other field. I knew I left it facing in the direction that it was facing, but I thought it was someplace else. I just happened to see it sitting there while I was driving by. I wasn't looking for it. I just happened to notice it. <laughs> Which is surprising. I'm surprised I didn't just not think about it and just drive down there and then I'd be like, Where is it? where's my header? Oh, I'm going to be so happy to get the bigger harvesters. But like I said, we need a million dollars for that. And we'll get it. It won't be too much longer before we'll have that. But then as soon as we get it, we'll spend it. But I really, I want to buy more land first. I mean, I honestly do. I want to get more, more land. But maybe I should get the bigger harvester first. I was thinking I had left this header sitting right up here by this road. Originally, I think I was going to do that. And then I got to, for whatever reason, I thought, oh, I need to take that down to the other end. And then I really did not need to take it down to the other end. So I just dropped it off.
Okay, they're all still doing good. So I need to get the truck. And we'll go over here to the sunflower fields. Just so we're ready to unload this guy. Whenever he's ready. I'm really looking forward to throwing some sunflowers into our uh, our oil mill. That's going to be so cool. All this, I'm going to have to figure out how to do all this. Never done all this before. I don't know why it's telling me I'm selling zero unless it just, you know, just keeps it sold. Oh, it looks like I have what? I have 17 liters. I got it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now, there are a couple signs down there that we will knock down. Because <laughs> I did before when I harvested this field. What was in this field? I can't remember what was in this field when I bought it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't sunflowers. Because I don't have any sunflowers, do I? Nope. So I don't remember, it might have been wheat. Do we have any wheat? It might have been wheat. Could have been barley. Oh, corn. There was corn planted down here, I think. Yeah, that's why I bought the corn header. There was corn planted down here in these fields. This field and that third field right there was, uh, I think both of them were corn that were ready to harvest when I bought. And the field in the middle was corn, but it had already been harvested. And what? I'm going to do something right quick, guys. Because see, this field's ready. What is that? Cotton. It wasn't white, so I wasn't real sure. I want to see what's in this far field. I want to see what this is down here because it's ready to harvest. So maybe I should buy it. It's actually ready to be planted. It had barley in it. It's ready to be planted. Do we dare? Do we dare? How much is this field? 78,000. Buy it. Because we want to go ahead and plant it. All right, good. That's what we wanted. That right there is what we wanted. Because now we can plant that field down on the end too. As we're prepping these fields, we'll prep that field, plant it. It's gonna be perfect.
Now, I'm not going to spend any more money until... Oh, so I ought to do all this in soybeans. I really, I should do it all in soybeans. One rotation. Plant all this up here in soybeans. But I think I might do that on the next row. No, I'm going to do that every fourth time. Except for the fourth field over here. But see, we also want... I want that big field right there. I really want that big field over there. that I need to look here yeah see that's the big cotton field so I need to wait until it is harvested and then buy it so that's probably what I'll do let's uh, keep an eye on these things Gotta know where we're at. Okay, he's got some work to do left. And it will be a while before this guy finishes. Oh, there went the first sign. <laughs> wow. That sign's causing us in trouble, ain't it? See, this is why I wish the street signs would toggle on and off with traffic. If you turn the traffic off, you don't need all those signs. And they just get, they're in the way. Even the helper runs them over. <laughs> I mean, I do too. But the helper's not supposed to do that. Well, we are going to have our first tank full of sunflowers, sunflower seeds here in just a minute. So we're going to get over here. We're going to get ready to gather those things up. I'm not sure how far back this way it'll make it before it is full. It's about 95% full right now. soon have sunflowers in our oil mill that's going to be awesome because we're going to start making more money behind the scenes so I think I will harvest all three of these fields first we can just leave that sit there
I may have to help this guy at some point because he'll get to thinking that he's finished and he hasn't finished and if that happens and the cedar catches up with him then we can have a problem so I do have to try to kind of keep an eye on this guy see See what I said? He thinks he's finished. That it would just sit here. It would be right in the way. Plus, the cedar could actually seed the row like right next to here and go down that way and then turn around and come back in this uncultivated part. And then we just have to cultivate up the crop that we just got through planting. So we have to keep an eye on on uh, what's going on here between we got to move back and forth between the three of these helpers nice to have three helpers going and have them in different places Now I don't really want to do, like, I don't really want to get the fertilizer spreader started yet. I could. I could and I might do that. I get this harvester over in the next field. I might bring the uh, cultivators, I mean the fertilizer spreader over here and let it get started on this field. On this field. Oh, and by the way, you may have noticed the second sign over here is not over here. It's got to be laying on the ground somewhere. <laughs> Now on this next field, I'm going to send the harvester crosswise across the field, let it run two, two headland rows. And then what I want to do is I want to come across here. I want to go across this pathway, this gravel road. And I want to go right in to the next field. Oh, stop. I thought it was going to do, I thought it was actually going to do what I wanted it to. And I was going to be like really surprised that it actually did that on its own. If I didn't want it to, it would, but you saw how it pulled out there and started the harvesting. But I thought it was actually going to maneuver straight across. Now let's see if it works right. I hope, hopefully it will back up to the edge of the row. We'll see. That's what we want. 
And then we want to go straight across. There we go, go on. And that's just going to give us some working, a little bit of working room down here on this end. And now we will take control again. And get this guy going this way. And then we will get we want to uh, check on these guys see where we're at perfect timing because this guy might say well I'm done and we'll have to be like no you are not done But you almost done. Oh, he's gonna get it. Keep going, good. This guy still has a ways to go. <laughs> Let's, uh, fertilizer spreader. Come right here. Wow, I was not expecting that. I don't know what's happening, but. Now we'll see how well this guy can get himself turned around, working back the other direction. I just want to, I got to make sure this guy doesn't need help before I can go empty my harvester. Ooh, almost got another sign. <laughs> That's just so funny. We wipe out the signs. Oh, there it is. I couldn't find the other sign. I found it now. I was wondering, where is the fourth sign at? Okay. Oh, let me just take care of this. Harvester can sit there for a minute. It won't hurt. We'll go ahead and take care of this one. Now, normally I would not let this cultivator run like this, where it's dragging it out in the grass. I like to reposition it so it keeps the tool in the field itself, but because it was almost done, I just, I'm not gonna stop it for that. Now, we might as well Just take this. I'll be glad when I can start buying some of these fields over here as well.
But we might as well just take it over there. And uh, what is this? Is that sunflower? Yep. Wow, okay. So we might do sunflowers over there too. We'll see. But for now, we might as well just take this right over here to this field because this is where we're going to be using it. So we might as well just park it like right here. I think that's going to be fine. Why did this guy stop? I don't know why he stopped. Doesn't make any sense. Didn't really hurt anything because he can't do the next field anyway. We're not ready for that yet. But still, there wasn't really any, there was no reason for him to stop working. There's that sign. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now one thing about it, the more vehicles you get, the harder it is to stroll through them. So that field is ready to plant. No, it's ready to cultivate. Sorry. Why did I stop the cultivator? Down here. Because I wasn't thinking, that's why. I need to bring it down here. So I can cultivate this field down here. I'll go ahead and get it started. Because I do not have to wait for that. The field that we are planting right now, I do not have to wait for it to finish because I am not using the cedar for sunflowers, I'm using the planter. So I won't be using that one. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was holding that guy up. I thought I would have time to get back over here, is why, actually. I need to move this a little bit. I'm gonna put it up here. Well, see, the cultivator just wiped out the stop sign. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, we need this. So we will bring it down here. And get it ready to go. But we will cultivate first. We will completely cultivate first. We'll, com we'll cultivate the entire field and then we'll plant. We don't have to be in that big a hurry.
We'll get this guy positioned. Go slow. Got to remember, go slow. It's easy to oversteer. If you go too fast, you oversteer it. Okay, we're not going to start yet. I'm not going to start yet. We will keep an eye on this guy too. He's got a ways to go yet. But we will keep an eye on him because he may need help on the edge of that field. Wouldn't those people appreciate us if we pulled out there and started cutting down their cotton? <laughs> Thankfully, the helper will not cause damage to a neighboring field that you do not own. I just got to keep an eye on everybody that's working here. Make sure they all can do okay. They don't need help. This guy won't need help for a little bit, but another few passes and it might because you saw how the cultivator did. It got up there, turned around, and was facing the work in front of it and decided it was finished. So I have to keep an eye on all of them. Just to... So we're about halfway, about halfway harvested this field. And then we've got one more. Okay. Now our cultivator is going to be running over the same signs that our harvester knocked down. There's one of them, you can see it laying there. The other one's laying over there. We'll see it in a few minutes probably. Let me make sure this guy doesn't need help. He should be okay for a few more passes.
Now we'll let this guy run. And then he's going to be ready to empty. I thought it might hit the, the ready to be emptied before it ever even turned around, but that's okay. It'll have the pipe on this side this time, which is nice. Because I don't like having to drive out into my crop, but that's why I have crop damage turned off. Because you either have to drive into the crop, or you have to take control of the harvester and, and take it to wherever your truck is. Now, the truck can just sit there. Yeah, see, it can just sit there because it's already in harvested, it's on harvested ground. So it's fine, it can sit there. Yeah, I'm fine with it sitting there for now. We just have to keep up with everything that's happening. I'll make sure this guy doesn't end up need my help. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It looks like he's probably going to do it right this time. But they will turn around and then back up a little bit and it puts them too far away from where the work is and they think they're done. And that will not be the case here, I don't think. But... We've just seen it happen so many times. All right, two more passes. We'll let this guy run down to the end and then we will take control and reposition it. Because it's going to have that little narrow strip and I do not want it to turn around and drag that cultivator down the road while it's just while it's cultivating this one little tiny strip. So I'm going to reposition it <coughs> so that the cultivator is in the field. Even if it's overlapping, it doesn't matter. I don't want to drag that blade down the road because that is real life, I think. Well, it would, first of all, it would cultivate up the road, so. I mean, can you imagine? 
dragging the cultivator down that road right there. It would, it would, first of all, it would mess up the road, and then it would probably mess up the tines on the cultivator. So I would rather reposition it myself and let it work from like this end. It looks better that way. Even though it's overlapped all that distance, it still looks better than seeing it dragging on the outside of the field. One more pass for this guy. Is that all it's going to take? One more? Let's find out. If, if this is the last one, then I'll have to help him. It should be, but see right here? It's got that gap in it now. Oh, maybe it didn't. It didn't gap it completely. Okay, good. I was at, it was able to jump across it. And then as soon as he's done, we'll jump him over into the next field. And then we'll get ready to start fertilizing this field. Okay, there we go. And now we just want to get this out of the way. We'll get it out of the way over here. And then we want this guy right here, but I think what we want to do, we got these trees down here. I think I want to start, well, it doesn't matter, I can start on this end. It doesn't matter. I was going to go do a, a, like a row down the end, like a headland row, but I don't think it's really going to matter. I can go down this way first and then do that. Because I don't know if it'll skip some down here at this end because the trees might be in the way. So let's get this guy turned around. Our cultivator is finished. But I need to see what happens down here on the, this end of this field. See, it did not catch all of it. And that's the thing. We want to catch all of it. Now, I want to do this part here. I want to line this up myself because I don't want it spraying fertilizer over into the other field yet. Fire him, back him up a little bit more.
Now we will take control. I'm going to finish this, guys, before I do anything else. The helper can just sit there for a minute. It'll be all right. Because I need to do this part myself over here. get this finished ourselves. and we're going to be ready to get the planter started here in just a minute it won't take long for it to do the other fields so we don't have to be in a big hurry to get it started I do want to switch over as soon as I get this field done see how our cedar is doing down there with uh, with the soybeans let's let's look at that right quick Okay, still doing okay. Okay. Now we can move this out of the way. Just set it over here for now, like this, and then I want the cultivator. And we'll put the cultivator over here, and send it. Okay, and then we got sunflowers, we want to send this guy. can do because we bought this field down here we can actually come over here we can fertilize this field Catch that outside edge right there. Every time I do fertilizing, I don't do a very good job. Well, I mean, I do a good job, but I don't ever get lined up right to where I can just catch the edge. The helpers are good at doing that, but I'm not good at doing that. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, see again, you just get the wrong little angle. But this will have this field ready to cultivate now. Nice. Okay. So we still have another field that we have to do with the fertilizer, but... Okay, still moving along, still going okay. And almost got this field done. <laughs> well, halfway done. Now, we might lose another sign down here just any time, guys. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay. 63%. All right, now, let's see if this guy needs help when he gets turned around. Well, it looks like he's going to do it. So that's good. Whoa. That was weird. That crow, it looked like it came right out of the back of that cedar, or the planter, <laughs> right up into the camera. Now, are we going to knock down another sign down here? We might. Yeah, maybe we'll survive. Or maybe the sign will survive. Yeah, okay. It survived. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was going to. It looks like one more pass is going to do it with this guy. We'll just stay with him. I will definitely want to send this guy that way. We gotta do a headland row because we got that all these trees down here. So we will have to do a headland row at the bottom edge of this field. Now this is nice. I like the way that worked out.
Look right on the edge. This next field doesn't work out that way, but this one, just exactly the right width to make it look work out nice with this planter. And we can just sit right there. I'm fine with that. Because it's ready for the next field. Now, if I did not own the oil mill already, I would be putting all these sunflowers in our silo until I had just enough to fill this truck bed, this dump truck. And as you can see, we're at 38% full. So we're not even going to get it up to 50% full with these three fields. But once we add some more fields, we'll get a good chunk of sunflowers at one time. Because I want to do, we're going to plant that one in sunflowers, and then I want that big one at the top for sunflowers also. So this whole section over here will be sunflowers. And then we'll have the one field that's also by the uh, oil mill. There are two more fields. There are two more fields. Sometimes it's easier I have this one, this one, what is this, how, oh, nice, all right, what is that, 225,000, but it gets me both of those, and this one is 400,000. But that gets me both of those. That's nice. And this one is 384, another four. 384, 393. Whew. Okay, well. But if I can do all that whole section in sunflowers, this whole section right here, including the extra fields, the other fields over there that we just look at on the map, then I might be able to grow in the field, in this field, where we now have sunflowers, I might be actually be able to put canola. Even though right now we got soybeans here, but normally this would be canola, we might could make this canola. I have these two fields for canola and have this whole section over here, the whole section for sunflowers. We'll see, we may not need to do that. And then this section will all be wheat. And then we have soybean, 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 soybean. And this will all be wheat, and then barley, and then oats, and then sorghum. And then we've got these little fields over here, too. And we'll probably do those the same as this right here. We'll probably keep this for, or we might do these all in soybeans also. That might be kind of, actually, that might be what we do. We do these in soybeans. 
That way this one can stay canola. We'll have these two fields for canola. We'll have all this up here for sunflowers. Okay. Let's, uh, ooh, almost done. What is this guy doing? He's almost done. All right. He's got about two more passes to make. Oh, man, look at that, how close it came to finishing without... I was just going to say, are you serious? Is this guy going to finish without me having to help it? But it didn't work out that way. He did not finish without me having to help him. That's too bad. Now, will that reach the edge of the field? No, it's going to leave that one little strip. There we go. Let's see, we're done. Very nice. Now everything we're working on is down here at the other end. Be a little bit nicer where we can, you know, be more focused. I'm just gonna park this thing out here on the road, kind of where I had that cultivator parked earlier because I do not need this down there. So this can stay right here. Uh, now see, normally I would, I would move that, but I'm not going to since I'm already this far into it. It wouldn't really make sense. And then what I think I'm gonna do is while I fertilize this field next to us right here, I will go ahead and cultivate in the field at the far end over here. I think I will go ahead and I will cultivate this down here Because harvesting is done. Let's get this guy out of the way. And let's just do this. Oh. 
Move over just a little bit more. Come on. That's why I always end up overlapping because I, I, I don't do good about driving it and maintaining it right on the edge of the field. Now we will go up here like this. Grab our truck, get it out of the way. Let's just park it right here for a minute. And then we're going to take this. And we'll take it out here and empty it. Now I will have to come back. I don't know if I can actually get this out of here. I'm gonna have to fold it up. Oh, maybe I didn't have to fold it up because there's no rail on this fence. Oh yeah. All right, we'll put it back down. Now let's get that working right there. And let's uh, let's take control of this guy. And now we'll send the helper. Because I didn't want to be throwing fertilizer over in that field yet. I'm not ready. I already did that one, so it doesn't need to, to get the second layer until I do the planting. Okay, so now we're done with this guy. So we'll just take this over here like this. Get it back. Could have looked a little smoother. <laughs> now we might as well, we might as well take it back down here too. And if we're going to start on this one field, then we might as well have everything ready to work that field. Well, we could work the opposite direction if we wanted to, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to. I may not like the rotation that I've got. I might feel better starting at the farm and then coming down to, to this field. But for now, for now, we can just stay like that. Now I can see some spots down here that this thing missed. So that means I have to fix it. So that's what I'll do. See that spot right there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a row 
in here like this. Now we'll put the helper back in it. And then Alright, we'll go ahead and take this one. And we can go sell all this. We'll put all the, the sunflowers in our uh, oil mill. miles an hour yes. boy once I hit a hundred miles an hour I was hard on the brakes and I just barely got stopped now let's see how much this will fill this up Probably about a third of the way. Let's see what we've got. Productions. Yep, about a third, 50,000. See, it must be like 145,000 or something for canola. Because you can see we're it looks like we're full 143 so it's probably 145,000 but now we're selling sunflower oil as well it hasn't made any yet but it will we're up to tw we got 25 liters there so we'll come back and look at that And we'll just park this, uh, we'll, get, we'll park this one down here. And we'll just park over here like this for now. Now. What we want to do is fold this up. We're going to take this down to the far field. And it will plant rather quickly with this thing. Let's finish this. And then we can... Uh, we can do the planter. This is a weird shaped field. Of course, all my fields on uh, calm lands are weird shape but okay
now we can start fertilizing I mean we can we can uh, cultivate over here I'm going to get one row put in with the cultivator, one pass, and then I will send it back the other way. This just gives me that little bit of space. Why did I not plant this field? <laughs> I don't know why I don't plant that field. I got too many things going on at one time. I'm not really used to doing all this multitasking, especially when I'm in different parts of the map, trying to work stuff in one pattern, one direction. Oh well. I'll get this guy going. And then we're going to get this guy going. Actually, I think I'm going to come down to this end. We're going to bring this all the way down. The first pass. And then we will uh, turn it. We'll let the helper take it once we get it repositioned. And hopefully it won't have any troubles. So it looks like I'm going to plant that field over there. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to plant this field. And then I'll come plant this field. <laughs> because I totally just skipped over that one. Or I skipped over planting that. And jumped down to the end. I had too, too many other things going on. And that was the problem. I had too many other things going on. Now let me see. Okay. Now thankfully I don't own that field right there right now because that guy, might, this planter may have decided to just pull right out there and start planting in, in the middle of that field. I've seen it happen.
Now, hopefully this guy will negotiate or navigate through this all right and start in the right spot. But we'll see. Nope. But that's why I had my hands on the button. I had already picked up the controller just so I could have be prepared for that. And it's probably going to be the same way all the way down through there. Just because of the angle. But thankfully this is going to be a, a very quick field. As far as uh, the planting is concerned. A very quick field. And then we'll go get it jumped down to the other field and get it started. Every once in a while you might hear like a banging noise or something like that. That's just me uh, accidentally bang my uh, headset and you might hear it. Because you can probably hear that right there. I don't know if you can or not, but hopefully it's not too loud when I do that. Because every once in a while, like I turn my head or something, and I actually bang my uh, my headset against the edge of my chair or whatever, you know. That time I just happened to raise my hand and hit the microphone. Stop. Back up. Now start. Hope that catches with one more pass. It looks like it might. Gosh, I may have to make one more pass myself. Will it catch it, or is it going to leave a little tiny row? No, it got it. Good. Whew. Now, I'm not sure what it's doing, because it's finished. I'm just going to get rid of the guy. I'm not even going to mess around because I'm folding this up because I don't want to drag it through this cotton field right here. Because we don't own the cotton field, so I don't want to mess up somebody else's stuff. Now, I do want to come down. I want to start down here on this end because now we can unfold this again. Because we have these trees down here. So I want to put in a headland row down here. And then we will reposition and send it lengthwise in the field.
That's close enough. It takes a while to kind of be able to when you to figure out the spacing when you start using a piece of equipment that you've never used before you kind of have to learn how to uh, eyeball the amount of space you need because I'm trying to figure out like exactly where the edge of the field is because now I've overlapped it just a little bit but then I was like well not really quite exactly where I wanted it to be that's going to be close enough so we can let that guy run now And then we get this guy to finish up this part. It's going to be nice. I really want that field right there in front of us. And then I want those fields over there. So we can do all of this in sunflowers. Well, it's four clicks either direction to get between these two vehicles. <laughs> I don't think the planter will need any help. And this guy might not end up needing any. Oh, I'm glad this guy moves as fast as he does. So where the cultivator used to be one of the best ones, it's not so, uh, so much anymore. Because we've got the modded header which allows it to cult, I mean to harvest at operating speed for the harvester so that actually doubled the speed that we're able to harvest and then of course this thing is actually it's moving along pretty good too plus it's a lot wider 12 12 meter width and we'll hit 12 miles an hour will we hit 12 all right, we'll work at 11. The harvester is 12 miles an hour. 
and this guy is 11. Almost done, now we will reposition. When we get down here, we don't have to, but I like to. And the only time I don't is if it's already started. By the time I catch it. Otherwise, I like to reposition. So that the implement is not hanging mostly outside of the, the field work. I like for it to be inside the field work. I don't mind if a little bit is on the outside edge, but not if it has like a, like half of it. I would not want to, to do this edge like that with the majority of the cultivator out there in the road. Because first of all, technically, it would, it would mess up our road or our little pathway. I don't really want to call it a road, but our little pathway there. It would mess that up and it would do more damage to the cultivator. So we just avoid that. Very nice. Now let's see where we're at with this one. Okay, we got time. So now we can we can just take this. And we're going to take it down there to that center field. Where it's going to be utilized at next. I still got to take that back also. We'll get that, uh, we'll get the planter going in the next field, in that last field. And then, uh, I'll bring the harvester down here. Now, I will say that in FS-22, unlike FS-19, FS-22, you can, uh, you can have the uh, helper drive. Like I could have the helper drive this tractor over here and park it by this field. It does, it will allow you to assign that kind of task. Actually, you can tell it to come over here and start cultivating this field. If you know what you're doing, I'm not that, I'm not that good with this stuff like that yet. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy finish. And then we'll, uh, I'll get it started in the next field. And then I'll move the harvester. See, I don't like the way it pulls out in somebody else's field. I don't like the way it'll pull out in my field. So I'm going to have to start doing a headland row coming across across the top this way and I'll do all four all all three of these fields at the same time I'll just go straight down that way and then come down to the heaven row and then uh, start working in that direction but if you're going to do it that way you have to make sure your cultivator works in the direction that you want it to work in too so that I, i'm not sure how that'll work out for us because we pretty much have to have all the cultivating done or i would not be able to do it that way now we're going to reposition we're going to reposition because i do not want the 
this planter to be dragging, dragging the majority of the tool on the outside of the field. I want it to drag it in the field. Like that. One more field to go. One more field to plant. Now again, we're going to start down here on this far end. Just because I can drive down there pretty quickly anyway. Now we're just going to back it up here just a little bit. If we go slow, we're okay. I tend to go fast though sometimes. Now we'll just let this guy go from here. All right, there we go. Now, we can take this guy back. Now see, I actually need another. No, I don't either. I was going to say I need another uh, corn header. But at least, well, at least for right now, I do not. I hope I can clear this. Yeah, okay. We're going to start, we're going to do two canola fields down at the other end. So this corn header will be able to stay up here on this end. But we do have sunflowers down at the other end. So we will have to... Uh... I'm just trying to keep an eye out on where things are. And I can take... Well, I don't really need to take that all the way down to the other end. I'm just going to park. I'm going to put this over here like this. Actually, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be working on this field down here first. I'm going to take this and put it back down here where I had it. And then I can move it farther down later. 
I don't need to take it all the way down there right now. That's not critical. So I'm just going to drop this off over here. Do I have to fold that thing before I can drop it? I guess I have to fold this thing before I can, I didn't, no, I didn't have this thing, I didn't have this thing drop like that before. Yeah, I was going to say, what's going on? That was weird. Somehow it must have started a detachment or a folding. I hit the, uh, probably hit multiple buttons at the same time. My hands are getting really sore. Now this is where we're going to be next. So now I got to remember when we get done here, I got to go back. I got to sleep until the next day. And then I will set this back up on one day, a one day month. Unless I do something different. But I really don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep for one day and then I'll go into the settings and I will set us back up for one day a month and then I'll finish the episode by I'll be in the harvester so that way when I start the next episode I will be in the harvester ready to start harvesting we'll set ourselves up like that and hopefully i won't forget that's where we're at Now, one thing we've got to do, we've got to remember, we've got to keep an eye on these fields over here, too. And they're not ready yet, but... Now, if I sleep for one day, it's still going to leave us in the same month. And of course, I'm talking about uh, after I get this field done, not right then at the moment. I just needed to keep an eye on things and not forget that I got this stuff going on over here too. Now it might be a good time to buy that field. Well, I didn't need to do that, not really. I needed to do this. And then what would this field be? How much is this field? 91,000. 91,000. I'm going to buy it. Because it's ready to be planted, so. I'll worry about planting it later. But I wanted to own it before it got a crop growing in it again.
We are almost done. We've got two more passes. We'll let this guy make one more and then we'll have to reposition it to catch the last little edge. So once we get down here to this end, we will reposition for the last pass. And we are almost finished for this episode. But we now own 12 fields. Perfect. Now this guy can go all the way back down. No, I don't need to take it down there. This guy can stay up here. Quite frankly, where where would be a good place for me to put this guy? Right up here. Because I will not be planting sunflowers down at the other end again. I don't I don't think I need to. I think using these fields will be enough. So this thing can just stay right over here. I can just keep it over here. I'm fine with that. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to go over here and I want to sleep for one day. I sleep until 8 o'clock. because that's still gonna leave us in the same month. I think it will. I really didn't pay attention to what month we were in. It's May, I thought it was April. But see, we made $16,000. Now we're ready to start right here. What? Did that just cause me to have something ready? I do. Now I've got two wheat fields that are ready. And I've got four of these. So we've got a big day ahead of us in the next episode.
So let's save the game. There we go. So we will start right here next time harvesting this field. We've got the three fields over here and we've got two wheat fields now back there in the back. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six fields to do. And then when we replant, we'll have seven because we bought that third field that's right back over there. You can't see it, it's behind the trees right there. But we just bought that third field, so we'll be able to do that. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, as long as nothing down there is ready, we don't want too much to do on one day. We want enough to do, but not too much. So this is going to be fine. So this is where we're going to start on the next episode. We're going to wrap it up right here, guys. Actually, I should go repair this. Let's do that right quick. And we need to get fuel. So let's do that right quick. If I thought about it, I would have done it before. But I didn't think about it. We'll do it right quick, and then that will wrap up our episode. And thankfully, we don't have to go real far to get this stuff done. We just have to go with a real slow vehicle. 12 miles an hour. <laughs> Our fuel tank is back here. And our repair toolbox is over here. And we have to get out to operate this thing. Repair, yes. Repair, yes. Now let's just go put this back so we know exactly where we're starting at next time because we're gonna be in this vehicle, ready to harvest. And that should help me remember where we're at when we come back to start, because we're just gonna, we're gonna be harvesting. All right, guys. Actually, I need to save it again because I just repaired and refueled, so I need to uh, save it. And that's going to wrap us up right here, guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if you watch it as a video and it's post after it's posted as a video. If, you're, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing that. Give me a thumbs up on the video. And uh, 
I will catch you in the next one. Until then, guys, God bless.